Hello there, lovely people. This is me, Ashley, here, sending my love to you from whatever reality I'm in today to whatever reality you happen to find yourself in. I'm making this video today because um, we've recently had a shift and <laughs> there's been loads of flip-flops. Loads of um, new information has come through, old information has come through. Oh, my God. Just bear with me. <laughs> Did you? Good girl, I'll get you some more in a moment, okay? I'll get you a yoghurt in a moment. Sorry about that. That was my granddaughter. It's first thing in the morning here, so excuse how I look. I just wanted to get this um, up and going while I was able to. So, yeah, there's been this has been a shift of flip-flops where things have returned. <laughs> Sometimes things have... Um, uh, new things have happened, lots of new things have occurred, but it's not that I want to talk about, it's just this particular shift, last one, has had lots of flip-flops where um, residue has come back. Um, I've had the um, North Pole ice cap with me, back with me for well over a year, about 18 months now. Uh, but a lot of you have recently just got it back, and it's not quite the same as it was before, as our old reality, it's not quite the same as that. It's come back for a lot of you guys, and I've had it. I've had it myself for about eighteen months, like I said. Um, and there are lots of other bits and pieces that have flip flopped across. Um, the British flag si um, system failure. Thank you very much, love, for the things you've been finding. Found that um, the English, the British flag, the red bit in the British flag, had come back to where it should be. I've seen um, flip flops on. On programs that I've been watching, um, actually, it must have been during the middle of the change that I was watching a program, and on that program, they couldn't decide whether Jonah was swallowed by a fish or a whale. <laughs> it was really mad because Giorgio, I can't remember how, I don't know how to pronounce his other name, he called it a fish, The pre, sorry, he called it a whale, the, fi the priest called it a fish. And it's like within the same programme, we're having two separate things for one reality. It just drives me insane, that kind of stuff does. And there's been a lot of that sort of stuff um, while I've been watching things online. But the main reason I'm talking to you is my husband. Um, yesterday, I had a bit of a chat with him because I was talking about my grandson. And you know that my grandson is um, affected. So I was talking to him about an inc some incidents where Rylan had shown me things that had changed. So I was explaining this to my husband. He was listening. So I thought, right, I'm going with this. <laughs> he was listening, so I thought, I'm going with this. Anyway, I told him about the... I went back to the eye socket thing in the school. Now, those of you who have been following my journey uh, for some time will know that I had a massive row with my husband about the bones behind the eye, because he did that. Um, when I first asked him about it, it was when I first became affected. And he, I asked him, what happens if you put your finger through your eye socket? And I was actually talking about, the reason why I talked about this to him was because of Nostradamus. He'd asked me to look up something about Nostradamus. So I was watching a programme about Nostradamus. And in it, they said that um, King Henry II of France um, who is the very person, this is this prediction by Nostradamus is the one thing that actually made him famous. And he predicted that the king would die um, via a splinter to the eye. And, and during a joust, indeed, um, a, the pole split and part of the, um, the, part of the this jousting uh, stick went, broke off and went through his visor, into his eye and into his front left global cortex and he died. And I thought, oh my God, that means that he could never, that he could never have died like that if there was a bony eye socket. So I, I, because I'm with my family, it's very, very crazy here. I don't get chance to be online very much. But I, I, it took about three weeks for me to look it up. Hello. I love you too, sweetheart. That's my granddaughter <laughs> loving me. Um, so I looked about three weeks afterwards, and by the time I looked, the history had changed. And this time, it did go into his eye, but the bit that killed him went here through his temple. Because in this reality, we've got bone behind the eye. And I was telling my husband this 
And he said, well, that can't possibly be true. Of course there isn't bone behind the eye. And I'm like, what? We had a row about it partway through me saying, because as kids, we all knew that if you put your finger through your eye, you can poke somebody's eye, you poke the brain. And he said that. But when we were first discussing this a few years ago, he he said, yeah, you put your finger in the eye. And then he went, he did the whole getting a, a download thing that happens to them. And then he said, oh, no, no, we've always had bone behind the eye. Originally, yesterday, we've never had bone behind the eye. And I said, but we've had this discussion before, Stephen, you said we did. And his answer was, yes, but that's because you were bombarding me with questions. Now, I'm sorry you can bombard me with as many questions as you like, but I'm never going to forget what the school looks like. <laughs> so, Hello. yeah, so I showed him then online schools because always, and he was like, his initial thing is what really pisses me off. Oh, it's on the internet. And I said, Steve, it's the human school. Why the hell would int the internet be telling you that the human skull looks anything like this, anything but the exact same picture every time you see it? Because that's what the human skull should look like. So why is the internet making out there's other sorts of, of, of skull if there isn't? And he didn't have anything to say about that, to be honest, because he didn't know. And his argument of it's just on the internet was like null and void. Because... It doesn't matter what's on the internet. It's supposed to show you the same picture of what a school looks like every time you look at it. So to him, he won't have it. He says that him in his, in his head, it doesn't matter what it says on the internet. He's got a gap behind the eye like we used to have. So he's remembering that now. And he kind of remembers the row that we had where I was desperately crying at him, please, please remember, please, please remember, keep that thought in your head. I went through the conversation about that I had originally about schools, men with tattoos, with the snake coming through the skull sockets. But the, the skull should look like the, hu the human skull doesn't change, or it shouldn't, but it, it has, clearly we know that. But the, why would the internet be showing lots and lots of different versions of what is just our school and i said that to him and it doesn't that doesn't make sense the fact that you're arguing it's from the internet therefore i'm not taking any notice of it because the internet would be showing the human school being the human school like we've always known it i mean it's changed so drastically it's unreal the brain everything has changed so much but my husband has flip flopped back to believing that there is no bone behind the eye now <laughs> I can't, I can't win with this. No, you're all right, aren't you? Your eyes are fine. <laughs> a little bit of a chat on the side there. So it's, I want to know um, what kind of things have you seen that have flip-flopped? Because there's been quite a few. It seems to have been um, a, a shift of residue, bringing residue back to us into the reality. And I'm not really sure why. I've tried to work it out. It's like, what are they doing? Are they... Is, the, is it trying to correct itself? Because sometimes it feels like it's trying to correct itself. Like my original reality, things from it come back. It's not quite my original reality like the North Pole. It doesn't look anything like it used to, the polar ice cap. It looks different, but it's there. And I know that some of you haven't had the return of it. And some of you have had it return lately, you know, this last time. So, yeah, what do you think about that? What, what kind of residue have you seen over the last shift it was a very strange one also i want to talk about i mean there's things like rupert the bear rupert the bear his song sings rupert rupert the bear everyone knows his name that's the words but the book's called rupert bear now they're taken out the the like the the was never there that you see what i did there that's from a, that's from a mandela effect song um with another bear Whoa. In, in America, and it's not Rupert the Elephant, sweetheart, it's Rupert the Bear, <laughs> crazy girl. So, yeah, um, I just wanted to come on and let you know that I'm still here, getting on by. Um, I've had, we've had a, a, we've actually had a bereavement in the family. My nephew passed away last Wednesday. Um, and so we're all suffering from that, obviously, so give me any kind of, prayers welcome all, always um but trying to live with trying to live with 
um, watching programmes with family members who don't see changes when they're there in, in my face on TV all the time, all the time. But I just wondered, have you seen any, what changes have you seen come back this time? Has it been the same for you? Have, have things flip-flopped about for you this shift? That's what I just wanted you to um, have that update about my husband because, wow, <laughs> wow, he's gone completely back. <laughs> so, and he, although he is, because because my grandson's affected, he does allow me to talk a little bit about it. So I just thought I'd go with it and then found he flip flop completely. And it was my fault that he'd said that we'd bone behind the eye last time because I, bam I, I like bombarded him with information, bombarding him with stuff. And he, he got confused and thought he did have a bone when he's never had a bone. So <laughs> that's what you, that's what living with the Mandela effect's like from one minute to the next. I mean, <clears throat> the fact that history changes and then... Sorry, it appears that I seem to have um, lost connection a bit there, but I'm just going to bring this to an end now um, because I've, as you've heard, I've got my granddaughter here and I need to be looking after her a bit. Um, I've, my other grandchild is due to be born a week on Thursday. <laughs> so there's some lovely things, bad things have happened in my life, lovely things are occurring and living with the Mandela effect and amongst it all is just... loads to deal with too much to deal with sometimes i think so i'm sorry for i haven't got my glasses on so i can't read what anybody's saying there thanks for joining me if you have live i appreciate that um i do want to do more but it depends it's not that easy to do it while i'm here so um yeah let me know what you think what's your last shift been like have you seen any flip-flops especially big ones because they seem to be all over the place at the moment um so till next time my lovely people I love you all.